compound interest most of the students find this to be very interesting because it's a little tricky so it kind of generates the interest all the more so let's go through the points below here the main thing we have to observe is that in simple interest the principal remains the same throughout the period but in compound interest the interest is added to the principal and the total amount is taken as the principal for the next year thus both principal and interest on successive years keep on increasing to explain a little more about this concept let us solve this very simple example find the amount at compound interest on rupees 2500 for 2 years at 12% also find the compound interest solution principal p is equal to rupees 2500 the rate of interest that is r is 12% the time period is 2 years the interest for first year is 2500 into 1 into 12 by 100 which is equal to 25 into 12 which is equal to 300 amount at the end of sorry amount at the end of the first year is equal to principal plus interest which is equal to 2500 plus 300 that is 2800 that becomes the principal for the second year so the principal for the second year is 2800 the rate of interest is again 12% and time period is 1 year the interest for the second year putting the same formula ptr by 100 once again is 2800 into 1 into 12 whole by 100 which is equal to 28 into 12 which is rupees 336 so the amount at the end of the second year is equal to principal plus interest that is 2800 plus 336 which is equal to rupees 3136 so the compound interest is equal to the amount at the end of the second year Minus the principal, which is rupees three thousand one hundred and thirty-six minus rupees two thousand five hundred. Therefore, the compound interest is rupees. We can also solve this problem by using the formula. The amount that is A is equal to P into one plus R by hundred whole power n. Substituting the numbers. Seven thousand five hundred into one plus sixteen by hundred whole to the power two because there are two years. So seven thousand five hundred into one plus four by twenty-five whole square, which is equal to seven thousand five hundred into twenty-nine by twenty-five whole square. Simplifying it, seven thousand five hundred into twenty-nine by twenty-five into twenty-nine by twenty-five, which is equal to 12 into 29 into 29 therefore 700 rate of interest the same 16% and the time period again is one year so the simple interest for the second year would be 8700 into 1 into 16 whole by 100 so the interest now becomes 1392 the amount is equal to principal plus interest Which is equal to eight thousand seven hundred plus one thousand three hundred and ninety-two, which is equal to ten thousand ninety-two. Therefore, the amount at the end of the second year is rupees ten thousand and ninety-two. Or we can also solve this problem by using the formula: the amount that is A is equal to P into one plus R. By hundred whole power n, substituting the numbers seven thousand five hundred into one plus sixteen by hundred whole to the power two because there are two years, so seven thousand five hundred into one plus four by twenty five whole square, which is equal to seven thousand five hundred into twenty nine by twenty five whole square. Simplifying it, seven thousand five hundred. Into twenty nine by twenty five into twenty nine by twenty five, which is equal to twelve into twenty nine into twenty nine. Therefore, the amount is ten thousand ninety two. Hence, 
the amount to be paid by Ramaya at the end of the two years to clear the loan is rupees 10,092. You found that one very simple? Let's see another one. A rubber ball is dropped vertically on the ground from a certain height. It is found to rise only 90% in its previous height. If it is dropped from the top of a 25 meter tall building, to what height would it raise after bouncing the ground two times? Solution: The ball rises at the height of 90% at the first bounce. So at each bounce, the loss in height is 10%. So let us take the R minus 10%. The problem can be solved using compound interest formula. So now the P will become 25 meters, the N is 2 and the R is minus 10. So the A is equal to P whole into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N which is equal to 25 into 1 minus 10 by 100 whole square which is equal to 25 into 9 by 10 into 9 by 10 which is equal to 20.25 meters. The height it rises at the therefore bounce is 20.25 meters.